Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're putting the timing cover back on and all the other components. So please check the video description for the other videos associated with this. And so uh, now I'll just start putting everything back together. So uh, just make sure everything looks good. I would put some oil on these chains. Uh, that's a very good idea at this point to make sure that they're lubricated since it's all new hardware. And just remember the adjusters and everything won't have oil in them yet uh, since they haven't been run. So um, you'll see us kind of crank the engine over a few times uh, in the end before we start the car. Uh, but you want to just look everything over one last time, make sure there's no pieces or parts or anything that's stuck down in here, uh, no dirt, uh, clean everything up the best that you can. You also have a very good opportunity now to look down into the oil pan. I even ran a magnet down in there to make sure nothing got in there. Um, but uh, just make sure everything looks good down in the oil pan, no uh, dirt or anything. Just clean it up the best that you can now that you have access to it. After we clean the front mating surfaces, you might even want to pour oil down in here to flush it out. This is also a great time for the cam covers to clean them up. You can see all the dirt and grime that's on these and it's hard to get them off and you don't want that falling down into the engine as you're moving these back into position. So I got them good and clean and degreased and uh, ready to go back on. The timing covers, same thing. We went through and uh, cleaned it up, especially on the edges where it's gonna be going back in. You can see uh, all this buildup too and uh, now's a very good time to clean it up. I took some of the scotch pad and this is where we're going over the mating surface on the front of the timing cover and for the heads too that you'll see in a minute. And so as you can see, I've wrapped a plastic bag inside the timing chain and made sure it's not gonna go down into the exposed oil pan. And in some places I even took a flat razor blade and uh, cut the silicone off from the uh, previous installation of the timing cover. You don't wanna dig down into it, but you do want it flat. I put a microfiber towel down in into the heads and uh, as we're scraping this and clean you can see we're getting this mating surface nice and smooth and so just going along the whole thing and uh, getting it smooth and clean and we're going to also do this over uh, where the cam covers will bolt again and so again just using the scotch pad going all the way around and especially in the back where you can't see it that's where it's going to leak and go onto the exhaust manifold and burn actually so um, you can see all this grime that's down in here and uh, a lot of this is dirt and everything just from getting the cam covers off so you want to make sure that we clean this out i used a microfiber towel it seems to just attract uh, the dirt and grab it very well so uh, just got it nice and clean we want to make sure none of that dirt and grime gets down into uh, the heads and into your oil system so just go through and clean that up the best that you can this prep work is really the hard thing right now you want to just put everything back together Take the time that you really need though and make sure that everything is uh, spotless and clean. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like now. I've gone through uh, the entire area, cleaned all the mating surfaces, got it smooth, used a razor blade to cut off any big chunks and uh, d uh, just did that on both sides and got everything ready to uh, assemble back together. Uh, so again, this is a good time to put oil on the chains themselves and let it kind of drain into the oil pan and then take the uh, plug off the, the uh, oil pan and let it drain out uh, at that point uh, if you have any debris. As for the timing cover, I got my nice gaskets. This was the Felpro brand. I'll put it in the video description. This is the one that I used. They worked really well. They were thick. They lined up uh, right as they should. And uh, I was very happy with how they went in. As you're putting these in, sometimes uh, it bunches up a little bit. So you might want to go around the rounded areas first and then smooth it uh, along with your finger. But uh, I just put uh, the three different pieces that uh, the kit comes with. And I even put some silicone on the bottom for the oil pan since uh, we're still reusing the factory one. And uh, even some silicone on the pan itself. And you can also put it underneath the oil pan gasket since we dropped the pan down just a little bit. Do not forget the reluctor wheel. Let's make sure we get this one on. It is clocked. You can see where that uh, little cutout is and the teeth have to be facing towards the front of the car. Okay, here's our timing cover bolts in the same pattern that we left them out and where they go. So now we're just lifting the timing cover into place and uh, 
putting the bolts in just to, uh, to line it up. So I went with the regular bolts here and the studs. And uh, as you can see, if you're tightening it down and lining these up, you'll start to have the tops of those gaskets uh, exposed and showing here. Still got a little cleanup on the front of the timing cover part now too, since it was off and out of the way. Um, with the timing cover, um, you just want to do the center bolts and then work your way outward. This is kind of what it looks like at the bottom. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put our pan back on. Now we're ready for the cam covers and the Fell Pro gaskets worked really well on these as well. I really liked the fitment and how they lined up. There are some little nubs here that are sticking out as you saw from the timing cover. Uh, so what we're going to do is what the factory did, just put blue dabs at uh, the top and the bottom of this gasket maker. Now, as the cam cover goes on, very important, we're putting these tabs in, of course, but it's only six foot pounds. So it's actually given in inch pounds. It's like 80 to 100 inch pounds. And you're going to tighten these down going from the center and work your way outward on each side. And that's how the bolts will go in. And so just get them pretty much hand tight. Now, a quick note on the cam cover gasket. If you look at this, it almost looks like it could go in either way, but you want the flat part here. See how it's flat on the bottom with that tab? That's going to go on the cylinder head right where we were putting those dabs for the uh, silicone. And so make sure that this little channel here goes down into the cylinder head. Since it's ridged on each side, people could make that mistake. So we did that on both sides. Then we went under the car for our crank position sensor. This is something you need to put in before the AC compressor. On the power steering pump, remember we have to start with that one bolt first, and then we can put the other bolts in very easily, 10 millimeter on those, so we're ratcheting that up. On the water pump uh, pulley, it just goes right back on, and you're gonna eventually tighten it down when the belt's on, but 10 millimeter on that. Uh, now we came in, plugged in our cam position sensor, and then worked with this bracket for our power steering reservoir, and so got that all into place. We have uh, our little frequency uh, things here for the radio and it's kind of an interference thing we just put both of those back on with their respective studs okay then we took a 13 millimeter socket here and we put our pulley back on so we have to put this pulley on first before we can then uh, take our 11 millimeter socket and lift our ac discharge hose back into place and put uh, the nut back on for that uh, so now we're coming through and putting in all of our coil packs with their little 7 millimeter bolt and then plugging them in. Same with all of our um, fuel injectors, plugging all that in. Uh, now we just plugged the air intake back together. Here's our intake ambient air temperature sensor and uh, basically everything that was unplugged. <laughs> and so we're coming through here, all these vacuum hoses. Watch for this one that goes into the cam cover and there's also a plug on it. So watch for those two. They kind of hide from you a little bit. Okay, then we plugged in all of our vacuum hoses here. Um, all of the sensors that you could find, like the uh, idle air control valve here, the throttle position sensor here, everything uh, should be pretty close. These wires actually went under the intake. I had to take it back off. Uh, you might have to do that a little bit, but uh, basically we came through here too and we plugged our fuel line back in. That was pretty easy. It just popped straight on. And then uh, we put our bracket into place that holds it from coming off. And so that was very useful to have out of the way when we were working with the cam covers. Okay, underneath the car, there is oil that will leak from the cylinder heads with those cam covers off all the way down the exhaust. You can see this is brand new exhaust that I installed not long ago, and you can see the oil that uh, just ran down it. So we cleaned that up. Now we got our, our harmonic balancer, and you can see the notch in here for the keyway. We put silicone on that and then uh, basically put it on. There was an install tool that I even rented, but you can just, like I did here, gently tap it on with a rubber mallet and then drive it down uh, with the bolt itself. And so just go down until it's nice and uh, firm and, and tight. Next came the belt. We went ahead and wrapped it. And so uh, let me run you through that one again real quick coming from here. It's gonna go down from the alternator. It's gonna go around the power steering it's going to go down under the crank and then up over the water pump and it's going to come over on top of this tensioner and then it's going to come down from that tensioner so it goes straight down from the tensioner and around the air conditioning um, compressor there then back up and over the idler under the idler and back over the uh, alternator 
Okay, we got our 5 8 inch here. This is uh, for the oil pan. We filled the oil and we're gonna go ahead and drain it now. We, with the oil that was already in the car in the beginning, however you wanna do that, we just wanna make sure that we flush out any of the debris that got in there. So once we feel like we've flushed it out pretty good, we're gonna go ahead and add new engine oil and uh, give the car a good oil change to start fresh. Next, we get in the car with the battery together. We're gonna push in the clutch and hold the gas pedal down. Now, as we crank, uh, the car will not start and we can start priming it with oil. So go ahead and give it uh, some cranking uh, just to kind of get oil and everything moving, but don't start it yet. Okay, now it's showtime. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please check the video description for other videos like this and the other parts to this video. Also uh, for the Amazon links that I have uh, for the products that I used and for my affiliate page. Thanks guys.